Hello, I'm Alice Marshall, author of The Precinct Captain's Guide to Political Victory, the manual for grassroots political activists. Today I want to talk about registering voters at your local benefits office. Under Bill Clinton's Motor Voter Law, people can register to vote at the same time they apply for food stamps, also known as the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. But first, I want to talk about why people don't vote. Poor and middle class people, the 99%, have no control over their rent, utility company, children's school, place of employment, or host of other institutions that shape their lives. Political parties are asking people to believe that once a year they can go into a booth, press some buttons, and materially affect their life. Nothing in their experience in life suggests that this simple act will have any real consequences. So how can activists at the local level change that? Human beings are social creatures. We respond to personal appeals. By going to a benefits office and asking people to register to vote while they are there, you'll be making a direct appeal. Not everyone will respond to your appeal, indeed most won't, but enough will register to change the outcome of a local election. I know this from experience. When I was chair of the Voter Registration Committee of the Fairfax County Democrats, we visited every low-rent apartment complex in the county. While fewer than 10% of the applications we distributed were used, we brought in enough new voters to shift the county. Poor people are mostly Democratic, not all, but most. This includes poor white people. I know from when I was knocking on doors in the Dart Road mobile home community, although there were plenty of anti-abortion signs, I found the overwhelming majority supported the local Democratic congressman who was pro-choice. If we can significantly increase the number of food stamp recipients who vote, we can shift the country. Every congressional district, even the wealthiest, has pockets of poverty and food stamp recipients. We can, in effect, redistrict the entire nation by bringing in millions of new voters. If this is so, why isn't every state Democratic Party funding voter registration drives outside the local benefits office? Voter registration does not pay well. The big money in politics is in television, advertising, online communications, fundraising, and strategic consulting, not registering voters. So the one thing guaranteed to be effective is left undone, unless, of course, you decide to do it. So how would you go about this? It's really very simple. Pick a day that is best for you and whoever wants to help you. It will have to be a weekday because the benefits office are closed on weekends. You will need to get to the benefits office very early, at least 30 minutes before it opens. You will find that the line starts very early, with the first arrivals in line by 6 a.m. Here in D.C., the DHS office opens at 8.15. When I do this, I plan to be there by 7 a.m. Take some flyers with you, the simpler the better, asking people to register to vote. Something along the lines of, did you know that you can register to vote when you apply for benefits? It's easy and convenient. When you ask for a benefits application, just tell them that you also need an application to register to vote. You can take care of both at the same time. 2018 will be a very important election for our country, so please make your voice heard by authority of your name, city, and state. If you are working with a group, use their name and website URL. It is a great way to generate name recognition and awareness of the work your group does. Wearing your group's can or candidate's t-shirt will also help build awareness and instantly communicate to people why you are there. Be sure to wear comfortable shoes. You will find that standing in line at the benefits office before it opens is dull work and most people will be glad of a distraction, however minor. If we have activists doing this in every jurisdiction as little as once a month during 2018, we can shift the entire country.